we present a unified framework for camera space 3D hand pose estimation from a single RGB image, based on 3D implicit representation. As opposed to recent works, most of which first adopt holistic or pixel-level dense regression to obtain relative 3D hand pose and then follow with complex second-stage operations for 3D global root or scale recovery, we propose a novel unified 3D dense regression scheme to estimate camera space 3D hand pose via dense 3D pointwise voting in camera frustum. Through direct dance modeling in 3D domain inspired by pixel-aligned implicit functions for 3D detailed reconstruction, our proposed neural voting field, NVF, fully models 3D dense local evidence and hand global geometry, helping to alleviate common 2D to 3D ambiguities. NVF outperforms baseline methods based on holistic and 2D dense regression and achieves state-of-the-art results on absolute and relative hand pose estimation. Monocular 3D hand pose estimation remains challenging due to its highly articulated structure, large variations in orientations, severe occlusion, and inherent 2D to 3D scale and depth ambiguity. Due to these difficulties, most existing works focused on root relative 3D hand pose estimation. However, having root relative hand joint coordinates alone is insufficient for various interactive tasks. For instance, being able to recover camera space 3D hand joint coordinates in an augmented reality view enables the user to directly use hands to manipulate virtual objects moving in 3D space. In this work, we consider the problem of camera space 3D hand pose estimation from a single RGB image. We assume that the camera intrinsic parameters are available and 3D hand scale can optionally be used if provided. Most existing works for camera space 3D hand pose estimation follow a two-stage estimation scheme. They first adopt holistic or pixel-level dense regression to obtain 2D and relative 3D hand poses and then follow with complex second-stage processing such as fitting, registration, using a separate network for 3D global root location or scale estimation. NVF instead provides a unified solution via direct dense modeling in 3D camera space followed by a simple weighted average operation, which enables reasoning about 3D dense local evidence and hand global geometry. To recover robust camera space 3D hand pose, there are two key design elements. First is the ability to exploit dense local evidence. As demonstrated in previous works, dense regression-based methods are more effective than holistic regression-based counterparts for handling highly articulated 3D pose structure, attributed to its ability to maintain the input data spatial structure and fully exploit local evidence. Second is the ability to reason 3D hand global geometry. Given 2D evidence and camera intrinsic parameters, reasonable understanding towards target object 3D structure is crucial to alleviate 2D to 3D depth ambiguity, which is the key to accurately locate 3D hand pose in camera space. To fully integrate both elements into our algorithm design in a unified manner, we connect with pixel-aligned implicit function, PIFU. Through direct dense modeling in 3D domain with pixel-aligned local features, PIFU-based methods reconstruct highly detailed 3D human geometry from an RGB image in a unified way, showing its ability to model high-frequency local details such as clothing wrinkles while generating complete global geometry including largely occluded regions such as the back of a person. Inspired by these results, we propose a novel unified 3D dense regression scheme based on a 3D implicit function for robust camera space 3D hand pose estimation. To achieve our goal, given a common sparse and explicit pose representation namely a set of 3D joint locations, we first parameterize it as a set of dense 3D pointwise offset based representation. Specifically, given a camera space 3D hand pose and shape, we define the pose parameterization as a function, mapping from a 3D point in the camera space to a set of 4D offset vectors. Each offset vector consists of a 1D voting weight as pointwise closeness and a 3D unit directional vector as pointwise direction to hand joint. Then, to fully exploit the 3D local evidence and hand global geometry, we unify a signed distance function and the pose parameterization function using a pixel-aligned implicit function. Specifically, for a 3D query point sampled in camera space, we define a continuous implicit function which maps from pixel-aligned image feature and depth of the query point to its signed distance to hand surface and a set of 4D offset vectors. The signed distance is predicted to help learn the global hand geometry and also to select near-surface points by thresholding the signed distances. We call this mapping as neural voting field. The mapping is realized by a fully connected layers that is trained jointly with the image encoder by minimizing losses defined on the predicted signed distances and set of 4D offset vectors. During inference, assuming n 3D points sampled in camera frustum for each image, for each point that is considered as a valid 3D voter, 
we first convert each 4D offset vector into the actual 3D offset. Then, each camera space joint location is calculated simply by a weighted average over each voter's 3D offset prediction. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed 3D dense regression scheme against classic holistic regression and 2D dense regression, we designed two directly comparable baselines that share the same architecture of the hourglass network and the MLP as NVF. For baseline holistic, we directly apply a global average pooling to the feature map extracted by the hourglass network and use MLP to directly output the 3D hand pose. For baseline 2D dense, given the feature map extracted by the hourglass network, it uses MLP to predict, for each pixel-aligned image feature, the probability that the hand is present at each pixel in the set of 4D vectors. Each 4D vector consists of a 1D voting weight and 3D hand joint coordinate. Experiments are conducted on Fry hand for camera space 3D hand pose estimation, on HO3D for root relative 3D hand pose estimation. Common evaluation metrics are adopted. In our baseline studies, we first investigate the impact of scale and depth ambiguity for absolute 3D hand pose estimation. Besides identifying depth ambiguity as the main challenge, our results also show that using hand scale leads to significant improvements in terms of all three metrics for NVF and baselines. These verify that a reasonable understanding towards the scale would help for robust depth learning and alleviate depth ambiguity. The effectiveness of using 3D dense regression over both 2D dense regression and holistic regression is also verified in our baseline studies. NVF also exhibits state-of-the-art performance for the task of camera space 3D hand pose estimation on fry hand. We also adapt NVF to the classic task of root relative 3D hand pose estimation for which NVF also achieves state-of-the-art results on HO3D dataset. In this slide, we show qualitative results for both absolute and relative 3D hand pose estimation. Given the input image, we can generate 3D hand mesh via marching cubes from the predicted sign distances in the second column. In the next six columns, the white circles are the 3D points predicted to be in the surface vicinity and the colored line denotes the predicted 1D voting weight from each predicted near-surface 3D point to a joint. The final column shows the estimated 3D pose. Generally, NVF can handle challenging cases of self-occlusion, occlusion by interacted object, and complex poses, leading to robust 3D hand pose. Compared with the state-of-the-art methods on complex and failure cases, NVF has shown its capability to recover robust 3D hand pose when facing severe self-occlusion, occlusion caused by interacted object, and extreme poses. NVF further shows its ability to generate solid results when testing on images from another domain. Thank you for watching.